Hello friends, we are back finally with another episode with Molly in Hanford on Bagley and picking back up with the simple living. I am going to add a little bit of a twist and I think I decided what I want to do for Molly for a career. So hear me out. We learn all of our culinary schools and our end goal is going to be to open a farm to table restaurant on our lot. Molly obviously being the chef and the gardener extraordinaire. I don't know how all of that is going to work out, but that is the plan. Where we left off, our power went out because we did not end up paying our bills. So let's jump in and see what we've got. So here we are back at Molly's lot. Right, let's just take inventory. She's scared of the thunderstorm. We've got day three of seven of fall. Why are you outside? Oh yeah, KFC died last time. So we've only got the one chick, a little otter, and then we've got our cow jelly. So she does have to tend to them. What day is it? Okay, it's Tuesday, 7.30 a.m. I think first things first, can we pay our bills? We don't have to be outside right now. So let's uh, pay bills. Oh, I can't pay bills because Molly can't afford this. Let's just get your rain gear on. Rainy day outfit. So she can now head out here. We'll refill the feed for Jelly, clean the shed, fall over Jelly, and then take care of Jelly a bit. <laughs> Have a sim do nothing social for 24 sim hours. Okay, well, Molly is an introvert. Lovely, lovely. Molly, I feel you, I feel you. I know that we were working towards getting a rainbow treat, but I don't think that that goes towards the new goal. If we do happen to come across the rainbow treat, I will give it to the cow so that we can have a rainbow cow and get some rainbow milk. But I do really want to focus on her getting her culinary skill up. Lavina, let's go to GeekCon and show off her gaming skills. Oh, uh, sorry. I like gaming, but Molly's not really a gamer. Molly's over here doing the cow milking in the rain thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jelly. Yeah. Oh. Okay, girl, calm. Wow, Jelly, I'm so sorry. Complain about cowpocalypse. Try getting some milk again, too. <laughs> All right, very nice. Good, Jelly. You're doing good. I got you. Yep, see? Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, let's scatter some feed for Otter. Uh, we really need this chick to age up. I don't know, even once the chick ages up, we're not gonna get any sort of eggs because it's a rooster chick. We do need a hen still. I might have to purchase one, but I think priority is getting money so that we can pay our bills. Our electricity turned back on. Oh no, why are the bees attacking us over here? We're not even dealing with the bees at this moment. Calm your tits, far too uncomfortable. Why, what is, what's the deal girl? What's the deal? Stung from bees and uncomfortably wet. Oh, okay, well. Warm stuff up here at your bedroom fire. Let's actually go travel, but let's go over to this park. Milestone complete. Very nice. We got that. Now we need to befriend a chicken, cow, or llama. Place one wild rabbit home or flock of wild birds on your home lot and fertilize three plants or oversized crops. Okay, noted. Um, Since we're over here though, is there anything that we can find? Sure, you can grill up some elote. Lovely. Because we have $24 to spend, Molly, but that'll be good for her. Her cooking skill well we just made a whole plate here so let's stick that in our inventory and then let's go home call out little otter let's be good friends with you oh my gosh look at all of this weeding we need to do some weeding this is this is not okay <gasps> apples are growing they're starting to grow all right now we're over here milking jelly hopefully this goes better than it went last time so far so good jelly's in a better mood mood good job good job girl good job all right now let's go spend some time with otter their interactions with these animals oh i love the little yeah i don't know what she's doing now but otter seemed to like it so i'm good with that oh we have a lote i forgot about that okay we really need our power to get put back on because we made that full thing of a lote and it's gonna go bad molly has gone to sleep we'll wake up um, in about three hours here, try to go back to that patch where we saw the morel mushroom and, oh, the raspberries. And then maybe there's some choco berries. I don't know what the season is for those. I'm also going to pull my fridge inventory into my own inventory and go to town and try to sell some things. 
up and at them, trooper. Ooh, and then harvest all of these as well. And then let's be on our merry way over that community garden. Oh, here. Looking cute, Molly. Looking cute. So what do we got going on over here? We planted this last time garlic harvest all. So we got soy plant, garlic. These ones aren't ready yet. Black beans. So some other people have been here planting things. How are these raspberries doing? Wild raspberries. Nice. Raspberries are able to be harvested. The only thing that I need now or that I really want now, I guess, is choco berries. The Alto Water Company has shut off the water to your house. Pay your bills to get a turn back on. All right. Going into town. We need to make some sales. I think this is going to be our main form of money for now anyways, until we start being able to cook and sell items. Oh, what time does the shop open? 9 a.m. Okay, so we've got another hour. Order buttered crumpets. That sounds like a lovely breakfast. She's also washing her hands because she's feeling a little bit stinky. Maybe we'll come back here. Oh, I don't think we're supposed to be in this room actually, Molly. That looks like the kitchen. Maybe we'll come back though and do some teeth brushing and, and more hand washing. Try to get our hygiene up since our bills are not paid. But for now, we will enjoy this buttered crumpet. Oh. I thought she was eating that like with a knife. I was like, girl, let's come over here to the stand. Let's Pro do haggle um, because we're feeling confident. This should go Yoshoda. good. Ooh, Yoshoda Harvest Fest Yoshoda is tomorrow. Wari. I did want to be able to decorate oh, for that a bit. You. So we'll see if we can. I absolutely love the seasons and being able to decorate for them. Let's sell items at a 10% profit. What soda clang? Perfect. You can have my apples. You can have my basil. We'll just keep like one of everything. Black beans, we'll keep two because we'll plant one of those. Bottles of milk. We have tons of bottles of milk. You can have this cheese. How about some chrysanthemums? Oh, we don't have any eggs because we don't have a hen anymore. But if we sell these eggs, then we can put that money towards getting a new hen. And in the long run, that'll actually be better. Why do we have a goldfish? Here, you can have this goldfish. We are getting good money from this. So $936, very nice. Before I accidentally spend any more money, let's uh, pay our bills, pay bills. We're going to just see what you've got at the stand today. What are you selling? Choco berry, let's get a choco berry. Let's get a cherry too, actually. Maybe we should just get this baking volume one. There you go, take my money. Thank you. What are you selling? Let's haggle first. I will take 25% off. Thank you, what are you selling? Is she protein treat? Livestock animals will love this treat so much they'll produce one extra milk, egg, or wool next time you collect. Well, let's get it. I'm just going to get those three items for now. We're gonna head back home. We did get some money. We got our bills paid. So let's go read our book, get our skill in cooking and baking up to work towards that culinary degree. Also, maybe check in on going to university. I doubt it. I think it's just gonna be the skills classes, the books, and just from experience that we're able to get this together. Oh, hi, Bunny. Hi, discuss fox sightings. How you been doing? What's been going on? Oh, you got a gift for me. Thank you, appreciate that. I've got something for you too. And I did say last episode that if we became good enough friends with the wild rabbit or another wild animal, we would name it. At this point, we're getting very close, but we're not quite there yet. Um, If you want to include some names in the comments below, let me know if we get another chicken, which we will be working on getting another hen. Well, maybe we should name that hen. Um, other animal names, what maybe we should name this wild rabbit, just so that I've got that good to go for the next episode. Let me know what you think. And then I do also want to get these other items slanted before I forget. Hi, I've called to inform you that your great, great grand second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away for some reason and has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept? <laughs> The amount of times that I've seen this on other people's Let's Plays, you would think that I would be like, oh yeah, I know what I want to do. I don't actually know what I want to do. Um, um, money, money, give now. We need, we just, we need money. Very well. However, now that you've accepted, I must inform you that you will only get money if you become married. Oh, I thought the other one was the get married one. All right. Well, we've got to find someone to marry in seven days. What's our friend list looking like? Do we have any potential suitors? <laughs> She did really enjoy that one night that she was chatting on the night out on the town. Oh, it was Charlie, wasn't it? Send text. Just shoot, shoot Charlie a text. 
I want some more garden plots. We will eventually move on to a bigger lot. This is not Molly's forever home, but at this point, this is the farm. This is the farm that we've inherited. Let's go with that. How are we going over here? Right, getting some leaves. Hello, Otter. Ask if evil chickens are coming. Good question. And how are you? Let's just do a little bit of socializing with you, Jelly. Help. Utterly funny joke. And then water all of these. Oh, what do we got in our inventory that we need to plant? Summer and fall are soybeans. So we could put soybeans over here because it's fall right now. Black beans are summer and fall. So let's get those down. Raspberries are fall. So plant. And how is our aspiration going? Okay, so we have befriended a chicken cow or llama. Uh, place one wild rabbit home or flock of wild birds on your home lot. I don't know if I've unlocked that yet. And then fertilize three plants or oversized crops. I do have that fertilizer. So what should we fertilize? Maybe pumpkins since it's fall. Kind of fitting, right? And then our power is back on. So it's looking lovely in here. Let's actually take a moment to go look at our uh, cross stitching in the light. Very nice. Do we maybe need a selling table to get rid of this other stuff in our inventory? Let me know. What do you think we should do with this other stuff in our inventory? Because I'm not sure what to do with it at this point and I need a way to make money. I'm also thinking of getting a job in the culinary career, just because then that'll go hand in hand. We all start somewhere, right? We want culinary, hiring an assistant dishwasher from nine to... F oh, that's so much of our day. Okay, so it looks like there is actually culinary arts at Discover University School. So I want her to go to school. We are in my flip and Friday save file. So we've got some half finished houses here, but... There is the library, which will in fact have a computer. Hop on the computer, fly to university. Oh, it's gonna be so much of our money. Okay. And then also scholarships, apply for scholarship. Maybe I'll read a cooking book while I'm here too. This is gonna be so fun. Tell me why I'm so excited to put these together. Molly's university application is on the way. The university will look over the application and mail the results back sometime in the next few days. Molly may also check her application status at any time on the computer. Um, Sims who are skilled at fishing. Oh, that's a good scholarship. Okay, she's good at gardening. And then we apply for another scholarship. Um, low household funds. That is us. You know what? Let's send a text to Charlie. We'll go back home. And, oh, we can just select Charlie to travel back home with us. Let's pretend that we texted her and said, Hey, Charlie, I'm on my way home from the library. Would you want to meet at my house and hang out? So Charlie is here. Describe new idea. So I've got this new brilliant idea. I'm really excited. I'm going to culinary school. I love gardening so much. I'm going to open a farm to table restaurant. <laughs> You like that idea? Oh my gosh, yeah. yay. Rizzo. Thank you, Charlie. Easy. I knew that I could count on you. Okay. So let's get to know no, and talk easy. about dreams. Like so are you single by chance? Yeah. I guess we don't really know Charlie well enough to know if this would be more of a friendship or a relationship prospect. She is single. I want to propose this crazy scheme that I have. Someone, someone approached me the other day and said that I could get all of this money if I just married someone. Let's propose this crazy scheme. Do you think that we could get married? Charlie, what do you think about this? Is this is this insane or what? Oh, she didn't seem to like that that crazy scheme. She seems skeptical. She's not feeling it. Okay. All right. No, you're right. You're right. Apologize. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. That that was too fast. Too fast. I thought we had a good thing going. Okay. I think we could be friends too. I get it. I've got it. What kind of music do you like? Let's uh, let's rewind a bit. Let's get to know each other a little bit better first. Apparently, Molly just wants to take care of her garden and chart. <gasps> Rude! No, 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 no. I thought we were friends. Bye, Charlie. Bye. This girl's gonna have a late chores night because we did so many fun things around town today. But if we are starting school, we're gonna have to find money around the lot instead of getting a job because getting a job and having to do school is gonna be really tough along with the garden. However, we do have to marry someone and maybe if we find someone good, they could help us on the farm. But we just have to see who we find. The laundry done. And then let's hang it on the line. It is now 2 a.m. and we are still outside 
Oh, shoot, it's also Harvest Fest. We're not gonna have any money to do anything for Harvest Fest, which is kind of sad. We are making a fruit salad with our apples. It's kind of cool that she's actually chopping up the apples because that's what I had in the inventory for fruit. What an interesting way to make fruit salad. Okay, we did reach cooking level two. Eat her up. Then we're going to use the bathroom, take a quick bath. We're not that tired, but if we go to bed now, oh my gosh, it's 5 a.m. Get some sleep. <laughs> she's up to bed. And it's Harvest Fest today. She's probably not gonna have a great harvest. I was annoyed that the gnomes are, oh, now they're gone. I don't know where they went. I'm always annoyed with the gnomes. But if we appease the gnomes well enough, then maybe we can get some money from them. But there is a trick to it. So different gnomes like different things given to them. And they get mad if you give them the wrong thing. We gotta get up, we got things to do. Ooh, these are famished. Feed the grubs. Then let's apply some mite treatment, bond with the bees, and then sell honey. Also, how are you doing, Otter? Your coop is good. You are just dreaming of butterflies, apparently. Come say hello to you. Sent about human life to Otter. Otter, I've got bills to pay. Okay, she is tense. Why are you tense? Married from money. Oh no, she's tense from this? From trying to get inheritance money. Molly accepted the offer to get a giant inheritance over the phone, but now she only has seven days to get married to satisfy the hidden conditions of the reward. Why does this always seem to happen to her? This always seems to happen to Molly. Um, what could we do for... For grand meal. Oh, meat protein plate. All right, well, that's gonna have to do for your harvest. I'm also trying to befriend the dust bunnies, but I don't know. Oh, she doesn't own meat, but she has whatever this is. We got some asparagus, apparently. She's gonna be able to eat. That's all that I care about. I mean, that is a protein packed meal. Not sure where she got the ingredients for it, but that is fine. We're also up in our cooking, which reminds me, let's check our university application. What if we don't even get into university? Then we're just gonna have to do it on our own. Let's check our application status and check our scholarship applications as well. Poor Molly is spending her <laughs> Harvest Fest holiday with dust bunnies herself and the farm on this thundering, rainy, rainy day. Like. This poor girl. She deserves better than this. She's on hold. Is that a good sign? <sighs> Still going through the system. Okay, fine. I'm gonna stop worrying about that. I'll stop checking. Probably just being impatient. <gasps> the gnomes. Okay, appease the gnome. You want a future cube. You want a toy. You, let's just, I don't know, guess coffee. And guess pie? Everybody likes pie. Oh, that was good. That was good. Okay, there you go. Good. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, okay, well, coffee was correct for this one. This one does not like pie, though. So, that's unfortunate. But then I think at the end of Harvest Fest, we'll be able to sell the gnomes and get some nice cash that way. Otter's doing good. Coop is clean. Molly found a super vitality fertilizer. Great, because I actually do need to fertilize more crops. Um, I also have to get that dessert and harvest a watermelon. <gasps> no, no foxes. Cost for concern? No, why is Jelly sad again? Oh, Jelly, I'm sorry. Feed Jelly, clean Jelly. Let's give Jelly a treat. Look at this house, it's so dirty. Hey gnomes, would you want to maybe give me a uh, vacuum? Cause I could kind of use a vacuum. Jelly's good, this is good. All of these are harvested. We'll go to town in the morning. Oh, now we're just gonna play the violin. Okay, go for it. Let's do a cross stitch. Then maybe we could sell these for some money too. Um, stitch from patterns. Raises and mascots. Let's see. Live every day like it's Taco Tuesday. Oh, because if that isn't the vibe, I don't know what is, honestly. <gasps> what if, oh my gosh, I really wonder if they 
So I put these cross stitch hoops in here from uh, Nifty Knitting or Tiny Living. I don't remember. But I put these in here pretending that this one says have a nice poop. I love those embroidery hoops that say that with like the cutie little florals. And Harvest Us was pretty good. Molly got to do a lot of the things she wanted to do, but not everything. Next year, she hopes to do even more. I would agree with that. I think that that's a good assessment. And I am, um, I'm good with that. So let's switch this one out. Let's uh, create a wall mounted version that up there then cute it's coming together here and then we can make those to sell i'm gonna sell these gnomes i'm gonna call them my harvest fest gift and give myself 699 dollars uh nice and then we're gonna go to bed tomorrow we are going to see if there is anything for harvest let's also maybe go over to that community garden again Let's wake up. Today's meal has been delivered. Thank you. Wait, Reed. Hey, Reed. Excuse me, mailman. I was just curious if you were single. Um, I know that you're just my mail courier, but I want to get to know you more. Here's my new idea. Oh, he's scared of her. Oh, no. Okay, you like that? That's good. That's good. Okay, that made you excited? Good, good. Um, are you single by chance? He is single. Okay, let's uh, get to know you. Why are we tense? Everything being a bit dirty, married for money, messiness kills the mood. Why don't you like me either? Nobody wants to marry Molly. I think she's so sweet. So she's just lighting her feelings on fire right now. Let it burn. And then let's get our mail. Getting the mail. <gasps> Scholarship letter. I hope we got scholarship. Nice. Uh, great outdoors valued at $200. And did we get the other one? Yes, $500 um, for education for all. So we got $700 in scholarships. I wonder, oh, is this our acceptance letter? Read the letter. Molly. Moby. <gasps> okay. Molly was not accepted into any distinguished degrees, but she can go to Foxbury for culinary arts. Enroll in university. She's like, yeah, hi, I just got my acceptance letter. Um, I would like to go to Foxbury for culinary. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, uh, let's do just two classes. Is there anything in electives that would be good? Unconventional gardening. I kind of like that actually. So let's see, culinary arts. There's really only one degree to consider if you love food, join the culinary arts program. I literally wasn't sure if there was culinary arts. I'm so excited to see culinary arts in um, the game. Learn more about food and its preparation than you ever imagined and build those cooking skills. Degree benefits. A degree allows for entering at mid-level with a signing bonus while increasing daily pay, job performance, and vacation days on the following careers, chef and food critics. Must complete 12 classes to graduate. Okay, I'm just gonna start with these three. We are going to do it at home. We got the scholarship, so it's only gonna cost us $20, which is lovely. So I'm gonna pay with that with household funds. I'm so excited for her. Charlie, sure, yeah. Okay, I'll come, I'll come hang out. Maybe Charlie is feeling bad for the way that she like left in a rush the other day. And then we can also tell her the good news that we got accepted. Ooh, you live in Sulani? I'm gonna say, hey, I'm sorry for the way that I um, acted the other day. I know that it was a little bit crazy. I'd like to like get to know her for real. Ask about hobbies. What are you into? Are you into gardening by chance? Well, you're looking really nice today. I like your bandana. I'm probably not dressed for Sulani weather, but you're looking really cute. Ooh, she liked that. What? Okay, well, now I apparently have to apologize again. I'm, you know what? I feel like Charlie is like leading us on or something. Maybe Charlie is just not our cup of tea. Maybe Molly is no one's cup of tea. I don't know. Okay, so we are going to leave this here. When we pick it back up next week, Molly will be heading off to some of her first classes at university, trying to find marriage for money. Hopefully some love and someone that can help her reach her goals and dreams will come of that. Otherwise, we'll just like 
marry them and leave them? I don't know. We'll see how that plays out. And then we are making good friends with the wild rabbit and we should be getting a hen next time too. So if you have animal names, make sure to let me know in the comments. In the meantime though, I am live over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash TullyXO. If you want to come follow me, please make sure to do that. If you are enjoying these LPs and want more Sims tips and tricks, um, if you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time if I don't see you on Twitch. In the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon, evening, and good night, my friends. I will talk to you all later.